Joining me now to discuss this further is Dr Henna Anwar, an NHS doctor who's also volunteering to deliver the vaccine. Good morning to you. Um, tell us, first of all, how th that works. Will you be doing that in addition to your current duties? Yes, I'll be doing that in addition to my current duties, which I think a lot of NHS staff will be will be doing that as well. Well, it, um, just adding adding to the work that we've already got, but we we want to be part of this drive to deliver this vaccine to people. So we, we NHS staff are are going to be working really hard to deliver the vaccine to to the population. Yes, I was going to say that that's going to put further pressure on you. Already really busy, run off your feet, and adding more um, responsibilities to that by volunteering, um, really essentially in your own time to administer the vaccinations. Yeah, NHS staff are caring for a, a record number of people at the moment. Um, and this is, we've got to remember that this is not just COVID people, these are other people as well that are seriously ill with other conditions. Um, and it's actually, the, the other conditions are higher than the people that were in hospital with similar in April, uh, which we see every year anyway, this um, uh, a, a surge in admissions during winter time. But we, what we all really want is um, to, to do our part now for the country. And that's that's the kind of feeling, the general ethos with NHS staff. So I'm sure that, like me, everyone will do whatever we can. It doesn't feel like um, an added duty. It feels like it's something that we want to do. Do, do you feel overwhelmed at all? We see in the newspapers today, you know, headlines like hospitals facing the worst crisis in living memory and stark warnings from Professor Chris Whitty. Do you, as an individual, feel overwhelmed? So I've been uh, a doctor for over 10 years now and um, it does feel overwhelming because I feel that we are living through times that we haven't lived through before. It feels like some days we don't know what's going to happen next. And when we when we see the number of cases rising, um, w watching the news, it feels overwhelming. It can feel overwhelming, which is why it's extremely important for people to continue following the rules. So you can be helping the NHS out. So just as simple as following the rules for us right now will, will help us with that overwhelming feeling because we'll feel that people are actually doing their bit. Do you get a sense, though, that people are complying, that they are staying home, they're not visiting family members? Because certainly driving around or on the streets, the level of traffic, it doesn't seem to me, certainly, and others, that people are adhering in the same way that they did in the first lockdown. Um, I don't have an answer for that because, obviously, I don't, don't know people's individual reasons for being out and about. But what's, what is really important is to just keep giving the messages that it is really important to stay at home um, if you, we, we estimate, like you've been talking before, one in three people can carry the virus without knowing that they've got it. Um, so to, to one person, it might feel that it doesn't matter, but it really does matter. Um, certainly the patients that I'm speaking to, they seem to be adhering to the rules and um, the conversations that I'm having. I can't speak for the rest of the country, of course. Um, but it's, it's really important that people keep doing that. Um, the other really important point that I'd like to make as well is I've seen a lot of um, conspiracy theories about the vaccine as well. So it's really important that when you are reading um, information about the vaccine, that it is from a reputable source and you're not passing on information that may, may not be true to other people. Yes, lots of conspiracy theories around people denying that COVID even exists. What, what does that do to, to the morale of, of uh, your, your colleagues? Um, because we see it every day, um, it, it feels, um, I don't even have the word of how it feels for us to see things like that because we see it every day. Um, I work in general practice. I do some shifts in the hospital. I've got colleagues working in ICU. I've got colleagues working in acute medicine that are seeing really sick, poorly COVID patients every single day. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday who said it was the worst shift that she's ever done in her 15 years as a, an anaesthetic, uh, anaesthetic doctor. Um, so, so for us, it just feels... Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on and why people don't don't see it. But we we're seeing it every day. But what I can categorically say that COVID nineteen is real. Um, we are living it. Um, I'm having conversations with people that I never thought that I would ever have um, through my whole 
um, career as a doctor, um, it's really important that we still continue to take this seriously. And even though we, I do feel that there is an end in sight um, with the vaccine, it's still really important right now for people to continue following the rules that have been set out so we can help uh, yourself, you can help um, NHS staff and you can help your loved ones as well. Henna, you will be administering the vaccine. Have you received it yourself and will there be plans to if you haven't already? I've ha I have had the vaccine, so I've had the vaccine a couple of weeks ago. So um, fortunately, um, I I've had it. I feel absolutely fine. I didn't get any side effects at all, apart from my arm was a little bit um, sore. Um, I feel fine. Um, my colleagues, some of my colleagues have had it. The rest of my NHS colleagues hopefully should get it soon. Um, so, yeah, the answer to that is yes, I've had it. OK, Dr. Henna Anwar, thank you very much for speaking to us and uh, the you. best of luck with the work ahead of you. Time now to take a look at the weather. We're